So what will happen? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing all of us that look, it might appear to you that the forces of evil are winning and the forces of goodness are losing. Allah says, don't worry, it's just a matter of time. When we pull, we pull completely. And Allah says, always the winners are those who are in the force of goodness. Always. Maybe not immediately, but ultimately. And this is why Allah speaks about entry into Jannah. And He says, do you think it's going to be easy to enter into Jannah? Do you think it's going to be simple? Do you think you're going to enter Jannah without a test? This life is a test. Allah says, do you think you are going to enter Jannah? And that which afflicted those before you has not yet come to you. They were tested and they were shaken and they were tested in so many different ways with trials and tribulations, with war and sickness until the messengers from amongst them said, when is the help of Allah going to come? Imagine for a messenger who is sent by Allah to say, when is the help of Allah going to come? And then Allah says, then we said, no, the help of Allah is very near, subhanAllah. Which means you are tested right to your peak. I always like to give the example of a school. The higher you go, the greater the test, the more difficult it is. And remember, your life is not in the school. Your life, the real life that you are living is outside the school. I mentioned this on Friday. So those who don't understand that the life in the school is just a test and they need to work as hard as possible, whether they like the school or not, whether they like the work or not, whether they like the teachers or not, whether they enjoy the uni wearing the uniform or not, they need to wear the uniform, they need to work hard, they need to try their best, they will pay in order to attend the school and they must write the exams every so often. And every time they write an exam, they will have a higher qualification than the previous exam. And when they graduate, they will now with that certificate be able to do whatever they want in the world. The higher the qualification, the more chances you have. Let us take that example and put it into our lives. Our life compared to the akhirah and the life after death is like a school. So we are in the school now. We will have tests every year, every second year. We will have so many difficulties. We will have to dress in a specific uniform, in a specific way. We will have to do certain things. We will have to engage in things we may not like or may, they may be difficult to engage in. And every time you write a test, you have a certificate of a higher level. And the, the, the greater the test, the more the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then when we die, what will happen? We have the ultimate certificate. We can do what we want thereafter in the Akhirah. When you have all A's, what will happen? Allah will say, Enter into Jannah with peace. Here's your certificate. And Allah speaks about it in the Quran, how He will give it in the right hand. Allahu Akbar, may He give us all our books in the right hand. This is the month of Ramadan. We need to earn the forgiveness of Allah. Let us take this month seriously. Let us make an effort every day to fulfill the taraweeh correctly and to try and listen to a message or two on a daily basis, to make an effort with the Quran, to fast properly, to try and change our lives. Bad habits need to be kicked out. Music CDs need to be changed with Quranic CDs and with the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will be asked, life is too short. So many people are dying. There are people who've passed on just before the month of Ramadan. Where were they? Allah did not accept them to see the month of Ramadan. Or we can word it differently. Allah had mercy upon them and took them away. May Allah open our doors.